Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DZ Can Toys, where I do reviews and share my thoughts on some of my favorite toy releases. Today we have a new review and unboxing to look at, and it is the amazing Yamaguchi Revo Tech All Might from My Hero Academia. Here's a quick look at the box art, and let's get the unboxing started. Alright, here we have our Revotech Kyoto All Might unboxed. So let's take a quick look of him with a 360 view while we talk about the background information of the toy company as well as the character himself. In regarding to the toy company Kyoto, they're a Japanese company which manufactures figurines and garage kits. Its headquarters is in Kadoma, Osaka Prefecture. While the company mostly focuses on anime-related characters, it recently acquired other licenses such as King Kong and Godzilla characters. Also in the name Revotech, they're prominently known for their technology known as Revolver Technology. This is a reference to a unique revolver joint articulation which all of the figures in this particular series utilize. This actually gives the figures a wide range of motion stability allowing for many dynamic and varied poses. As for our character, I'm sure many of you guys who are fans of the series will know who All Might is, but for those of you who do not know the series, he is Toshinori Yagi aka All Might, the former number one hero and symbol of peace from the shonen anime manga franchise known as My Hero Academia. He's also the mentor to the show's main protagonist, Izuki Midoriya. Now that we're finished with the brief introduction, let's go over the aesthetics and paint job of the figure. In terms of the aesthetics, at first glance, All Might here in the Revotech form actually looks quite decent. Of course, Revotech is not without its problems, especially in terms of the overall aesthetics. For many of you guys who have purchased Revotech products before, you guys will know there's many weird separations in terms of the aesthetics on the main body of their figures. And this is for a good reason, is to implement their hyper-articulated articulation system which is their Revotech system, and All Might here is no different. Although he looks quite decent from far away, when you begin to look at him closely, you'll see a lot of different type of joint systems and separations that may look weird, such as the chest over here, we have these line separations. The make or break part of the aesthetics in terms of a figure for me is the head sculpt, and All Might here does have a decent head sculpt. Looking at the head sculpt from different angles, I still feel like it looks like All Might, so the head sculpt gets a pass from me and I have no complaints over here. Here's another look at the head sculpt from the side. I especially like the side angle as we can see the details of the hair, it looks very 3D. In terms of the upper body aesthetics, All Might over here looks quite muscular which is true to the show. He's supposed to be this extremely tough muscular hero who strikes fear into the opponent's hearts, so it makes sense over here. But one thing I do want to mention is that some of you guys may not like the separation over here on the chest area. What I mean is this line here and over here. Basically this is a sacrifice made for the articulation of the figure which Revotech is known for. From far away, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but if you really care about the look and aesthetics, then this might affect some of you guys in terms of choosing to purchase this figure or not. As for the lower body aesthetics, you can tell that All Might didn't skip his leg days in the gym. Over here, I don't really have too much complaints, but again, for some of you guys who are not fans of the Revotech joint system, some things may bother you guys. Maybe the kneecaps over here, for example. We have these kneecaps, which is slightly tilted toward the side. And once you actually move the articulation a bit, it may look weird or not, depending on your preference. So that's something to note about. One more thing I want to mention is for the ankle articulation over here. We have a huge gap over here. So this may be a negative to some of you guys in terms of the aesthetics. It does look kind of weird, but I guess this is what they're trying to go for, some type of hyper articulation for the feet again. But as we can see here, there's a hollow gap when you move the feet to a certain angle. So this might affect you guys' decision again in terms of 
this figure having good aesthetics or not. Here's a closer look at the kneecap once you bend the knees. Now we have a closer look at the ankle gaps. Moving on to the paint job of the figure, All Might suit is obviously inspired by a classic super American hero style suit. This suit stays true to its manga and anime counterpart. It's actually quite colorful. We have a few colors. The primary color of the suit is this navy blue, while we have these red and white stripe decorations and designs for the suit. We also have yellow for the hand guards, the belt, and also the boots. Although the paint job of the All Might figure is decent, it is not perfect. We do have some typical issues that we see in these mass-produced factory figures, which is quality control issues in regard to the paint. There may be minor paint splatters on the body at different places. The yellow paint, when looking at it closely, does look a tiny bit grainy, but it's not too big of an issue. I don't really mind it personally, but I just want to mention it to you guys. Here's one example of paint splatter on my figure. As you guys can see on the shoulders, under the white and red stripes, we have some red dots. They're clearly some type of paint splatter, but I'm sure, again, it's a small issue that we can clean up with some alcohol wipes if we try to. Up next is the accessories. So All Might here actually have many accessories, which is a huge bonus for this kind of a figure. So let's check them out. In terms of the faceplates, we have four in total, three extra ones besides the one that we see attached to All Might straight out of the box. So the one that we see right now is a smiling heroic face. Here's the second one. So it looks pretty much the same. All Might is also smiling, but the difference is this one is called the sweat face. So this is the first time, I believe for me personally, that I actually see on the box art of a figure that they name the extra facial expressions. So for this one on the box art, it's called sweat. And the reason for that is there's a drop of sweat on the side. As you guys can see here on the left side of the face, there's a drop of sweat painted onto the faceplate, so it's quite an interesting one. The third option we have is called Anger Face. So this one we have All Might clenching his teeth. Here's a bit of a side view. Here's the final face sculpt. It is called Blood according to the box art, so we do see some type of blood on his cheeks. Definitely one of my personal favorites. Moving on to the hand accessories. So we actually have quite a few pairs of hands. The first one that we see is the one attached to the figure right out of the box. We have the typical two closed fists. Next, we have a set of these very cute celebration type of hands. We have the two finger style hands. Then we have a set of single finger pointing hands. This one can be useful for many poses too, such as you're next. You're the next one to be the number one hero. A set of karate chop hands or slapping palms a set of open palms, a set of gripping hands, finally a single thumbs up hand for the left side. So just a reminder, this is not a set, it's just one side of the hand. Next up, we also have these effect pieces like this. We have three pieces over here and they're supposed to form together into a shockwave, which we can use to display all my punching or kicking. And the joints that we actually use are from this little tray over here. Inside the tray, we also have two extra pieces of eye accessory. So what we do is we can actually use this tool over here for each one of the All Might face plates. We can poke the eye piece out and then exchange or swap with these eye expressions, which is looking to the left side or looking to the right side. So let's try to assemble this piece over here first. Here's a look at the effect piece after assembly. It's pretty much just clipped together. And we take one of these small joints, the yellow ones, which is attached to a clear plastic peg. We have three holes over here to choose from. And then we can just peg these in and then peg this to all might. Here's the end results. I have to say it does look pretty cool and dynamic. It will definitely look good on the shelf for display. So what I did was actually plug it in the hole on the arm guards over here. We also have the same 
peg hole on the other arm guard so you can use it for either side of the hand. Here's another way to use the shockwave effect. We can use it to represent All Might's kick impact. So what I did is plug the peg hole at the back of the ankles. Similarly to the hands, we can also peg it on the other feet as the other ankle also have the peg hole. So it's really up to you guys and the playability is there. As seen over here, yes, this All Might release also comes with our typical Revotech clear stand. What's interesting though is we have this extra piece of stand here, which we had an accessory of this round plastic joint here, which I attached. This is a clip for the other accessory included in this All Might, which is these clear plastic pieces. They all say smash. One is in this orange color, one's in this green color. So we can actually clip it on. And also these letters at the bottom part, there's actually a clear wrap so you guys can take it off and it will make this piece looks cleaner. We would just clip it on like that. Then we have an effect like this, really comic-like for All Might. This one is especially cool. So we have different choices, of course, this one or the other one. Here's another example using the other piece, the orange one. So it looks very cool on display. You can have All Might use the shockwave piece and then also have the smash lettering at the back. Next up, we have articulation. So All Might here being a Revotech figure, as I mentioned earlier, has great articulation because a lot of the aesthetics of the figure is actually sacrificed for the articulation. So let's check it out. For the head, of course, we have the 360. Looking forwards, extremely well. Looking backwards or upwards, that's really good as well. So for the hairpiece here, there are some flex to it, but be careful. If you flex over, I'm sure it would break and snap, so be careful about that. We also have a side-to-side, -side. not only the head side-to-side, -side, but the neck joints, we have a side-to-side -side as well, so that's really good. For the arms, all the way up, 360 is no problem. For the shoulder joints over here, because we have a cut, there's actually an articulation here too. So what you can do is move the shoulder joints like backwards and forwards, but do be careful. It's kind of a bit tight, but it is possible. So this will increase the articulation as well. You can move the shoulder joints. I read some reviews online. People had been getting all might with really tight shoulder joints. What you can do is put him in warm water and it will loosen up the shoulder joints a little bit, but it is here, you just need to be careful and play around with it. And this butterfly joint will greatly increase articulation. As for the elbow, we have a bend. The wrist, we have a 360 rotation for the hand. A little bit of a wiggle. And we also have a spin here at the forearms too. So that's an extra articulation that we don't see too much on other type of figures. As for the waist, we have a side to side, forwards, backwards. The lower waist, side to side, also a forwards and backwards. And the legs, we can kick all the way up, all the way backwards. He can do the split as well. That's really good. At the upper size, we have another joint here. So we have a second rotation besides the ball joint that you can rotate around. And this is a ball joint, which I just popped off, but it's here. So there's really no end to his articulation pretty much. As for the knees, we have the bend, a really nice bend. At the lower foot, we also have this rotation at the boots, which is very interesting. And again, for the ankle articulation, we have all the way forwards, backwards. You can also do side to side depending on the angle of this ball joint. But again, we have this hollow part here which I guess is supposed to be for increasing the articulation. So we can do something like that, which is really sideways. And we have our typical toe pivot. So yeah, um, for you guys out there who are getting this figure, try to play around it yourself. This articulation is probably some of the best ones out there. Now let's do some size comparisons. Here we have a SH Figuarts Regido. And this side, we have a Figma Fate Series 
Berserker class John, the Ark. As you guys can see, All Might is a towering figure. He's clearly taller than both of them. Next, let's compare to some of the figures from the same line, which is Revotech. We have a Revotech Gambit over here. So All Might is still taller. We also have a Revotech Deathstroke, which is also shorter than All Might. This makes sense. All Might is this towering figure. Some more size comparisons. We have a Marvel Legends Apocalypse. So this one, they're actually quite close in terms of the size. Maybe Apocalypse is a bit taller. Actually, maybe they're the same. All Might is taller with the hair, I guess. Here is a Mezco series, Cyclops. The final comparison I'm gonna do is with some Storm collectibles. Here we have a King of Fighter Omega Rugal, and a bigger one, which is Storm Collectibles Bane. All right, final thoughts on today's figure. The amazing Yamaguchi Revotech Kyoto All Might from My Hero Academia. Overall, I have to say I really enjoyed this release. There's a lot of surprises. Just like many Revotech releases, the accessory is a big bonus. We have so much to choose from. For example, we have three extra facial expressions, which represents All Might very well. We have many pairs of hands to interchange for the figure. We also have this cool shockwave piece that we assembled to represent All Might either punching or kicking. As a bonus, Revotech also included these clear pieces which have the letter SMASH written on them. This is very comic-like and can be a cool display option for many collectors out there. Another big bonus of this release is the articulation. Typical to many Revotech releases, All Might here is hyper-articulated. Yes, I use the word hyper and not super. Some figures out there are super articulated, but Revotech brand is hyper articulated, which means it's some of the best articulated action figures out there on the market today. But of course, being super articulated means that the figure is making some sacrifices in terms of the aesthetics. What I mean by that is All Might over here in terms of the shoulder and also the ankles, they may look weird in some certain angles in terms of an aesthetically pleasing design, all of this is due to the fact that they focus more on articulation. Other than that, some minor negatives about my figure over here may be some minor quality control issues, such as minor paint bleeding and splatter on some parts of the figure. Also, for my ankle joints, one of the ankles was a tiny bit loose. I have read online for other people's review, they have gotten loose ankle joints for both feet, but for my figure over here is only one feet for the ankle. The peg over here that you guys see on the feet as well is a tiny bit loose on one side, so it's more secure when plugging in the effect piece on one of the feet compared to the other one. In the end, then, would I recommend this all my figure? Well, if you can look past the aesthetic sacrifices made for the articulation, then sure, go for it. Especially if you're a fan of posing your figures, this All Might won't disappoint you. Anyways, there goes the end of today's review. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to support the channel by liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate that. As always, my friends, remember to stay young at heart. Until next time, we're out.